<laughs> our last video, if you hadn't seen, we went out diving. We got a couple hog snappers with some friends as well as a Nassau grouper and this epic giant black grouper. And this video today, watch out Tula. I'm gonna do a fish print with him. Join along while I paint him and make some art. Okay, first things first, with my fish, I'm gonna dry him off so that the paint will stick to the fish better. Get all the slime and water off of him. So I'll really pat him dry and I'll pay special attention to the crevices and his eyes and his mouth that there's no water locked in there because otherwise it will impact the print and make it splotchy. Back with my big black grouper. I've completely dried the black grouper. Now I'm going to take my water based acrylic paint and just have a regular large paintbrush and I'm going to simply just apply directly to the fish. The goal for this is to try and get nice even coat of paint all across the fish. And so I'll paint him all around, making sure to get in all the crevices. And typically with these fish prints, the second or third to are better than the first and that's because the paint has kind of soaked in more and gotten further into all the little scales and details. Okay, I worked my way up to the head and I'm basically painting everything on the fish except for the fish eyeball. <laughs> Traditional Gayutaku painting is that you leave the eyeball unpainted because you go back in after the print is done and add detail to the eyeball. They say that the eyeball is where the soul of the fish lies. Okay, now what I'm doing is I have these little pins and I'm trying to make the, the fish fin stabilize and stick out. So during the print, you'll be able to see it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm taking just a paper towel and I'm splotching, I'm dabbing all over where I feel like the paint is a little bit thick. Cause like I said before, I want one nice even layer of paint. I've completely covered the black grouper with paint. The fins are all prepped and ready. I use little pins to hold down the fins so that they stay secure. And my handy helper Jake here is gonna help me position the paper. I'm using rice paper and we're just gonna kind of eyeball and center the grouper on the center of the page and then just one, two, three, press down. I'm working backwards his tail fin and kind of rubbing and making sure I get all the detail onto the fish really manipulating my paper okay I'm almost done patting the fish kind of save the head for last getting all the last details of the eyeball and its gills once I feel like he's ready then Jake and I are going to very slowly kind of seesaw the paper back and forth so that way we don't get any rips. There you go. And I do a little bit at a time. Like I said before, this is rice paper, so it's very thin and delicate paper. And, and it's... Ah! <laughs> There's a rip. And it's pretty windy today so this paint I'm trying to battle the wind and the outside elements before this fish dries because like what's happening right now the paper just broke a little bit right here but hopefully that's the only spot that it does that just come nice and slow so that there's no rips okay now I'm going from the front Okay. There's a couple tiny rips in him, but he turned out pretty cool. This is our nice 30 pound black grouper. Yay. Okay, take two. The first one ripped a bit. We've made some adjustments. So hopefully this one won't do the same. Okay. Ready, one, two, three, down. Okay. I'm patting. Jake's holding so that the wind doesn't catch it. 
Everything's looking good so far. Hopefully this is the money one. Okay, almost done. And now we're gonna peel him off very carefully. Well, I was not able to manage to not rip him, but this guy looks pretty cool. He's got one small rip right here, but press in a frame. I don't think that you'll be able to notice much, but it turned out to be a pretty cool print. And these are nice Nassau. I keep showing you the black ripper because it's an awesome fish, but can't forget this guy. We also shot him today. So happy Nassau grouper season is open. They aren't the smartest fish in the sea, these Nassau groupers, but they sure do taste good. So Tula really likes them as well. We're gonna fillet him up and we're gonna eat the Nassau for dinner. Jake just rinsed off the fish of all the paint and we're gonna cut out some grouper cheeks and eat those for dinner. But thank you for watching my grouper print with me. Thank you for helping me, Jake. You're welcome. He's <laughs> filleting some the grouper cheeks. We're gonna eat the grouper cheeks and then we're gonna give the rest of the grouper to our friends, Tanique and Hernley. They weren't my best prints, but they still turned out pretty good. The grouper skin was pretty sticky to the paper. Also, it's high humidity and pretty windy. I was battling the elements. Overall, it was pretty good. Hope you saw the first video of me shooting the fish and I hope you enjoy the second video of me doing the print. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, please, so we can continue to make these awesome videos for you. Let us know if you have any questions about the prints or about us shooting it. Thank you, see you next time.